everybody, it's Martha. I am here today to do a short studio tour. Um, I know a lot of people during this COVID-19 lockdown kind of stuff that's going on are at home and that a lot of people are trying to do their studio redo, redo um, reorganization, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> getting organized so you can work better. And I am constantly, like constantly changing what I have my studio set up as. So just a quickie here. Um, I do have three of these Roskeg carts. Two of these I got from um, Ikea and that one I got from Michael's. Um, I do use my sunroom, which a lot of people might think is sacrilegious, but it works so well for me because I have all the light I need and when I don't want the light, or it gets too hot in here, these ruffled shades roll down and keep a lot of it out. They don't keep all of the heat and sun out, but they still let a lot of light in and I love it. And that's our deck and those are the curtains I hung. And so um, I'm just doing like a 360 right now. I made that wall hanging cause I weave. This is a new shelf unit I got. We got it from Home Depot and it is the best thing I've gotten so far besides all the bins that I have on it. Um, those bins at one point I had, that's my living room, don't look. Um, <laughs> there's the carts. This is also an Ikea thing. Those are Ikea. They used to belong to our daughter um, and we inherited them. I used to have all that stuff that was on that wire shelf. All those bins were either up there in that bookcase or on the floor and <laughs> trust me they didn't work on the floor so just a quick thing here um these are very movable and i like to put stuff in it that i constantly need somewhere different so i have all of my stamps in these um pencil cases i got last year at walmart getting back to school i have rubber stamps in that bin and that's just a cracker box <laughs> that i might or might not try to make a journal out of i haven't done that yet this is a cart that has um, oops, sorry, a lap desk on it that I use when I sit on the couch. And those are a couple of projects. The thing in the bottom, I'm making a needle case or two or three, and I haven't finished them yet. Um, and there's sort of more stuff in the middle that has to do with snippets and things like that. Things I do when I'm on the couch. So I can roll the whole cart into the living room into the living room and this has everything it has my new machine on top this is an old old like when they first came out um cuddle bug and this is my desktop crocodile which i love these are the plates and stuff that go with those machines on top and these are some more of those plates and things that go with um most of those go with the cuddle bug um, this is the drawer with all my faux handmade paper items in it. So when I'm ready to do that, I just pull that stuff out. This is my iron, my little travel iron that I love. It has a Teflon bottom. You can use steam with it or not. And my, um, little, this is a cutting mat. That's, that's a cutting mat and an ironing mat. And I use that up here in the studio and I had nowhere to put that extra new Tim Holtz stuff I bought on sales on clearance so I hope my fingers are not in the way I had to change hands these are the papers that go that I use when I'm doing the faux handmade paper I use watercolor paper and tracing paper and all kinds of stuff and that's my envelope punch board my scoreboard an extra cutting mat that I keep in there and another uh, cutting tool down there that I don't use a whole lot because I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so these drawers have, this is uh, leftover stuff like excess, but there's a lot of stuff in there that I want to scan and put in digitals, and I haven't done that yet. A lot of paper bags, but that's not all my paper bags. That bag right there has all my large paper bags in it and... I'm starting to use those. I have two drawers full of napkins that I'm supposed to be selling, but I'm hoarding them. <laughs> 
And someday they will go in the Etsy shop, but I'm hoarding them. And some of them, like the ones in the back, are Christmas. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then this is my envelopes. Um, these are all like new unused envelopes. Now, on top of this, that's all my tea dyed papers in this bin. And my husband helps me tea dye, so I have a lot. And then those are things that I've either made, that, that stack back there, and haven't used yet or can be used to make things out of tags and stuff like that. This is all the tea dyed cards, little glassing bags, um, three by five, five by seven, and used envelopes and stuff like that. And this is stuff. Just more stuff, <laughs> more envelopes. Some of them tea dyed, some of them not. Um, these are all my like little flowers and stuff. And that is my cardboard stash. And let's see, back there is just more envelopes and papers and stuff like that. All right, I'm, I'm really close and I'm sorry, I'm not zoomed in. This is like embroidery floss and some tool netting. Uh, extra plastic bags and this is overflow of fabric that I have tea dyed or not <laughs> um, these are all my punches and clips in case I need to hold something this is all my laces and uh, trims and some fun yarn and stuff like that okay switching hands hoping I'm not blocking the camera and shaking you too much this is stuff that's for sale in the Etsy shop. And, oh, this one's hard to open, so I'm sorry I'm jiggling you. That is my mailing envelopes. These are ruffles that I'm working on. I have sewn them. Um, these are for the ephemera folios that I sew. That's a piece of cardboard that's way too big, <laughs> so it doesn't fit anywhere else. I moved my sewing machine over here, and I like it a lot better with the natural light, but I usually have, like... <laughs> two, three, four lamps over there, but I'm just using one at the moment. This is a bookcase that I'm not really utilizing to its fullest yet, but I have plans for it. But this is where I keep my stuff for packing things for orders that go out. And then I have my, this foam thing here. That's what I use my, for my book binding. And then, um, books. Gee, imagine that books in a bookcase. Okay, so I have a couple drawer units that I haven't utilized fully yet either. Um, I'm just still, I just rearranged recently, like last week. <laughs> so I'm still working on this stuff. Um, so excess stuff, and these are all my, um, my glitter sprays, which I delve into now and then, but not enough. And then these really to go up there okay and then <clears throat> excess glue I think I'm set for a little while but believe it or not I did order more glue okay and then these are things that I'm currently using this box of stuff is stuff that's already made and because I'm working on projects I have it next to me and that is my I carry that everywhere use it to put all my projects in that I'm currently working on and then any excess like napkins or papers or torn papers or whatever, I throw them in there. This cart is the cart that stays. I'm trying to move my chair and not kill everything in the process and not jiggle you too much. I am sorry. Okay, let's see. All right, those are my lovely neighbors that I talk about now and then. <laughs> I can always pull the shade if I don't wanna look at the mess over. Um, this is my work desk. And I use this drawer unit, which I got from Michael's, this cart, which I got from Michael's, and I love keeping my paper towels on that um, roll. Kind of hard to see with all the stuff in the top, huh? And then in the shelf, I keep my wet ones, my wet wipes, and those are actually stamp cleaning wipes that I got at Joanne's weeks ago, and I have not even used yet. And then, uh, again, I'm keeping current project stuff in there. And the other two shelves right now are empty. This is the foam. I got that in mail something I ordered one day. And 
this is wonderful to use. It's very, very thin, but it's wonderful to use when I'm using the clear stamps. It helps um, have a little give underneath, and they work better if you're not doing it on a hard surface. So, um, book pages, tissues. Um, this is just all excess stuff. This is tissue paper. This is uh, small bits of fabric and stuff I can use when I'm, um, you know, trying to find a background for something or layer something. These two things here, I keep stencils and Tim Holtz and all kinds of stencils and stuff in the back. And this has my directions for my crocodile, which I keep close by because I'm always messing it up. Then I have this work light, which works really great on dark, dreary days like this. I have these two lights, which I've learned if I put or sort of slant them up like that, it does not cause such a glare. This I got at Hobby Lobby probably six or eight months ago. Love it. Got it when it was 50% off. It's called um, the Paper Studio brand. So when they have that stuff on sale, it's worth it to get it. I love it because it has the drawers. And that's where I keep all my different paper clips. And it twirls around. This little thing here, a couple weeks ago, I thought, I'm going to glue that on. It holds my cards that I can smooth things out with. And when I take my pin out of my art glitter glue, I put it there when I can see. And I'm not doing it left-handed. I put my pin in there, and it usually falls down. And that holds my pin, so I'm not, you know, pushing it off onto the floor, which I've done with probably five pins and never find them again. Um, it is a, a shag carpet, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things get totally lost in there forever. But I keep all my scissors. Right now this cord is in a very bad place. But I keep all my scissors and my pens and markers and my special cutting scissors and my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and my smoothing things and paint brushes and ruler and all kinds of stuff in there. But because of that cord, I had to put my, the rest of my rulers on this shelf. So this too is an Ikea desk that my daughter left behind when she moved out. And I love it. So, you know, it's got lots of storage space. Um, so in here, I have all of my Tim Holtz crayons that I recently bought, most of them on clearance, which I was, I was very grateful to find. Um, I love this sign. Follow your dreams. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do. And just, that's plastic and vinyl that you can make um, windows out of. This desk is recently empty, so it has a lot of empty bins on it. Again, I'm still reorganizing. <laughs> this is excess stuff, like electronics, directions, stuff like that. And that black thing is what I was putting my iPad in on this tripod but I also have this iPhone holder which I've now started using instead because my iPad, iPhone has a lot more storage than my iPad so and this is Gabby she's the one who snores when you hear me saying the little white fluffy dog snores it's still chilly here so she has her sweater on and that is Evan Almighty he's my boy He's a papillon. He's my butterfly dog. And if you know anything about me, I love butterflies. And then these are fabrics. These are all my fabrics that I strip. Um, some of them I sometimes sell. And there's laces. And there's different colored fabrics. I've got an in Happy Mail. And other stuff like that. I might have to skip that part because um, I showed an address. Sorry. So I'll have to cut that out of the video. And then um, that is just stuff. Those are ink boxes for my HP printer. Those are the rest of the pencil holders that I bought. Um, in that bag back there, there's little notebooks that I made that I haven't sold. That is all paper bags and brown paper stuff. It's like, um, these are Panera bags because we eat a lot of Panera. Those are document protectors that I bought in bulk just before Amazon cut off their shipping. And um, that's what I use to cut up to make the ephemera folios. Those books there are where I have my dried flowers 
drying. <laughs> I put parchment paper in, pick the flowers, and then that's where they dry. Um, and that is all my 12 by 12 paper. So I think that's about it. I did move my computer into my dining room, my computer and both my printers, because I was just too crowded in here. And for some reason, my um, computer was not picking up the signal in here and it was making it impossible to print. So I was getting frustrated. And then I put this recording sign up so that my husband does not interrupt me, but he loves to open the door, get the dogs out, put the dogs in, get the dogs out. So he's not here right now. So <laughs> I usually record while he's not here, but with this lockdown, he's here a lot more. I mean, he already works from home. So, you know, I have that, but <clears throat> excuse me, allergies. So that is the overall view. Now during the summer, um, I have a lovely view. Let me sit down here where I normally would sit to work. I have a lovely view of the 10th tee of the golf course. That's, oh, where is it? Oh, that's the 10th tee. So I get to watch all the old guys come by. The women are fine. I don't make fun of them, but the old guys, <laughs> they are so much fun to watch golf. And when these trees here all have leaves on them, it's like being in a tree house and I absolutely love it up here. As much as I complain about being in this neighborhood, this is the best part of this house and I absolutely love it. And um, I made that heart. I went to a stained glass class and made that. So I'm proud of that. So that is my studio tour. And when I put my phone in the holder, this is now, the view that you're getting let's see if i don't mess it up so that is sort of the view you're getting but i usually turn my phone around so i can see it from where i'm sitting oh. so i thought i turned you off i wasn't sure so there it is um thanks for joining me i hope i didn't make you too dizzy or sick and um <laughs> Have fun organizing your studio. Try not to stress during this time. It really isn't worth it. And I hope everybody takes care of themselves and have fun. Just craft. It's good for the soul. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Hugs. See y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.